Hey guys, this is Punisher from WalkingDeadArmy.com and Don't Revive Me Bro, and I am playing on Metro, and this is the CT. This is actually the first time that I have played the CT since they did the latest patch, and I am so happy with what they have done. Um, I really enjoyed playing the CT this time around. Before, I was kind of, I don't know, hit and miss with it because of the whole uh, tick rate thing and how it's changed the... Uh, uh, hit detection and stuff like that. Uh, but I talked about that in an earlier video. But I've gotten back used to it. I'm back on my game. And I am now loving what they have done with the suppression. With the triage system that they've installed now. I really like the triage system. And a couple, a couple things that I have noticed since they've done that. Is there's a lot more people reviving. Because it's very easy to tell now. Just how long you have before the guy ends up really, you know, supposedly dying. Uh, so I really like it a lot. Uh, it's nice. It's easy to understand. Uh, whoever came up with the idea, which I guess somebody actually told me tonight that it was actually something we had in BF2. I honestly don't remember it. But regardless, it's a genius idea, whoever brought it up. And uh, good job to DICE for actually doing this because it really does help out a lot. A couple of things I have actually heard that actually is coming down the pipeline in addition to the changes they have already made to the CTE is one of the things that a lot of people are griping about is clutter on the mini-map and on the hood. And DICE has just come out with a patch a couple hours ago, and they have actually addressed this. Okay, They've done some changes to the UI to allow you to change the transparency of your different indicators on your hood. And they've actually put a little slider bar in the gameplay area that you can adjust it to your liking. Now, that's a real good thing. Another thing they've also done is, you know, they did the visual recoil fix, but it, when they did that, they kind of messed up how the, the uh, red dot sights looked on the different weapons. So what they've done, they've kind of cleaned that up a little bit. So they should be back to normal with that. So there is a patch, like I said, that has just come out a couple hours ago, and they did change some of the UI stuff that they tweaked it. They've done some more netcode updates, and what they've done now is they did what they could, did in Hardline, where they had the auto for your high-frequency bubble. So they now have that in there where you can select auto, okay, and that will change it on the fly based on your connection to the server, which is a good thing. And they've also tried to shave off a little more of the time, uh, you know, to try to make everything as good as they can. So... Really interested to kind of see this. I haven't had a chance to play the new patch yet, uh, but it is good. I will say, though, that what they have done is pretty impressive. The, I tell you, playing on the CTE last night when I actually recorded this footage was a lot of fun. I love the change they've done to the suppression. It is so nice now because it doesn't necessarily affect your gun. It's all visual. Okay, so your accuracy should improve now. You should feel like you're handling your gun better. A lot of people said it felt like Battlefield 3. Well, I don't know. I'm not quite to that point yet, but it does feel good. And as you can tell here, I was actually doing really well in the server. And I, probably some of the best I've played in a long time. And especially played on the CT because, you know, before I was just getting raped. But it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed this round. The guys I actually played with, it's one thing I have noticed on the CT. The quality of players on the CT is definitely a lot better than the normal pub servers on the normal uh, BF4. These guys were talking to me in comms. We were working together. Uh, you know, it was really enjoyable to play with them. I never even knew. That. The guys that were on here, I never played with them before in my life. Uh, but we did do well together. Uh, I actually added them on my friends list because I enjoyed playing with the guys a lot. But that triage thing, I'm telling you, that's a great tool. Uh, you know, a couple of people, I've heard a couple of YouTubers brought it up that, you know, it gives you the opportunity to make, kind of give you the uh, decision to say, yep, I'm going to hop across this fire lane and get the guy, or I am not going to risk it because it's not worth it. You know, it gives you that ability to at least give you a second because you know how long you have before the guy's going to be gone. It gives you time if you wanted to charge your paddles up or – it tells you that, you know, you don't have enough time to charge your paddles up, but you can still revive the guy and get some points. Uh, so I really love this triage. I think it's probably one of the neatest, easiest, 
most sensible features that they have actually added to the game. And uh, it's going to help out people a lot. And I definitely, you're going to see a lot more people reviving. Which, in the you know scheme of things, is uh, what it's all about. You know, provided you can do it without you know uh, doing it in front of you know enemies, so that you get killed and they get killed. Uh, but I love it a lot. The suppression, really happy with that. Uh, the uh, fact that now they have actually added the features to try to help declutter your hood uh, is really good. Uh, the CTE, I'm telling you, a lot of people aren't playing it. Uh, so I want to encourage you to get in there, try this, get it going, because the more people we get in there, the better testing we can uh, provide, better data we can provide the dice. And they're really trying their best to try to get this game up to speed. And, uh, you know, I really think they're actually doing a good job because I, I really like where the game is at now as far as the CTE goes. And I cannot wait to see this stuff cross over to the retail. And in the end, it's going to cross in a hard line. It's going to make its way to Battlefront 2 and any other Battlefield title that you may see. Uh, I think the CTE is something that is going to be around for a very long time because it has already proven its worth to the community and to the developers at Dice and EA. So anyway, guys, that's really it. Uh, a couple more things I want to remind you. Uh, since I have... Uh, got the ability to stream using the uh, VCE uh, encoder that comes with AMD cards. It's made my streaming a lot nicer, uh, a lot better quality, a lot less lag, a lot, uh, perform no performance loss. I have, uh, you know, almost zero FPS loss. I'm streaming a lot now, and that's in my intention. So please, guys, if you want to uh, get me on Twitch, it's twitch.tv forward slash WDA underscore Punisher. Please follow me on there. I am going to try to stream nightly between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. during the weekdays and 9 p.m. until I drop on the weekends. Usually Friday nights, I'll probably play till about 2 in the morning. But that is my plan. I'd like to get do more Twitch streaming. I'm going to put more stream highlights on my channel because the quality, while it's not as good as this is, it's not far from it, and, you know, you get to get to see some good raw BF4 gameplay comms and any of the hilarity that ensues. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Get out there. If you're not into CTE, try to get into it. And if you are into CTE, please play because we need all the people we can get, and we need to get all these servers filled up. So, anyway, guys, I hope you have a great weekend. It's been great. We'll talk to you later, and we will see you on the battlefield. Bye-bye.